This is Maed7 sharing with you our insights on how can be of help to our respective school. I hope you enjoy and learn from us as we always want to learn more and share our knowledge to others. This song is for those who inspire us today Who always lend a helping hand to help show us the way this song is for those who see their students through the tough times in their lives. For that we say thank you. you. As how Horace Mann puts it, education alone can conduct us to that enjoyment which is at once best in quality and infinite in quantity. Reflecting on this statement, we can see how far education can impact the world. Education is something we have to enjoy with all its benefits and influences in our life. When there's quality, quantity follows. Quality education calls for commitment, competence, and compassion. Teachers are the key players in the learning process. Their relentless dedication and support to building the quality of learning is far and wide. As role models, love and inspiration should begin first from themselves alone. As an old cliche goes, we cannot give what we don't have. It is vital then that teachers' pedagogical skills are empowered to their maximum level. Being a public school teacher, I am tasked to be geared up with all the necessary skills and knowledge in the teaching and learning process. As Fairview Elementary School is an institution which is culturally, holistically aiming for global competence, as aspired by the Department of Education, reaching through the 21st century skills, I take my sole responsibility personally to, be, to hone my craft to the best that I can, to reflect on daily learning outcomes, to embrace innovation for diverse learners, to recall once in a while the value and ethics of teaching, to unlock possibilities and to welcome changes. This may sound idealistic, but they are all prerequisite to the changing world. We are already in a digital world where one-click thing supersedes patience. Being so, the very first and ultimate values that we have to consider is our being patient to our pupils as they too sh should have to be patient in every aspect of their life specifically in learning we can't do away technology and its advancement it is already in the system what we can do as teachers then is to go with the flow but never forget to take a pause when reflection has to be done. Modification is the key word for transformation. We need to be transformed, but it is likewise have to be modified. Hello, and this is Lani C. Tape sharing to you my points of view regarding how could I be of help to my school today. Oh, my name is Maribel M. Salino. From Fairview Elementary School, Ma in 7. How can be of help in uplifting the quality of education in my own school? Teaching entails a lot of patience and dedication. Its nobility is far and wide. Constant innovation is required to this fast pace of advancement. Primarily, teachers have to go with the standards of the 21st century skills. According to College of Almucana University, any profession cannot be mastered and donated unless it is aware of its origin and principles. And the teaching, which is the process of teachings and learning assets and rules, including the teacher, including the learner, including the subject matter, including the method of learning and needs. This is often what educational psychology is about. Teaching should have a direct goal and a definite objective to attain such. Preparation in teaching is actually divided into several domains 
such as mental, which involves knowledge of the lesson, emotional, which caters the behavior towards duties and responsibilities, physical, which about styles and techniques in the delivery of the lesson, social and cultural, which are generated through understanding the learners, including their strengths and weaknesses, values, individual differences, ethnicity, and beliefs. There are three main categories of teaching such as pedagogy, knowledge, and skills. As a public school teacher, I should be knowledgeable enough to deliver the lesson well. In delivering less, I should have strong and solid pedagogy. Such pedagogy is delivered to various skills. Fortunately, I am confident to say that my philosophy in education guides me a lot in every way. Quality education starts with love, and I believe I can help uplift quality education in my school through an overflowing love of my colleagues, learners, and to God. Thank you. How can I be of help in uplifting the quality of education in my own school? According to James Shepard, an advocate of parental involvement, the education community is aware of the link between the academic support of his students and the student's educational achievement. Among the many support systems available to students, parental involvement is a factor that is heavily linked to student achievement. The term parental involvement in education underscores the shared responsibility that family and the schools work together in promoting a student's success. Parental or familial involvement are terms used to describe any support a student receives from a guardian, family, or other mature influence in their home life. Though the literature uses numerous terms such as parents, guardians, and families to refer these mentors, parental involvement is the most common descriptor of the resulting relationship. For clarity in this study, parental involvement will be the operationalized term used to define any relationships in the home community that support a student's academic growth. Given the powerful potential of parental involvement within the school community family relationship, this is study six to shed light on how parental involvement contributed to student success. Why am I discussing about parental involvement? This has something to do with how will I be of help in the pursuance of quality learning in my school. As I've mentioned, parental involvement is crucial to children's education. Legally, according to Batas Pambansa 232, parents have the responsibility on their children's education. Their support and guidance is a must all throughout the children's school life. Morally, they are too accountable of their children's welfare, which includes having a bright future. Bright future in attainable through having education. As this is so, my primary purpose is to create a strong relationship with parents that is modified as parents' role as second teachers of their children and that their home becomes an extension of the school learning. This is Rosario Telan Benitez. Good day. Hi, my name is Rowena Sicardalores from Fairview Elementary School. And this is my extemporaneous How can I be of help? as in uh, uplifting the quality of education in my own school. 
teachers are great influencers of learning. They are the best stimulators of interest. When interest is established, there is an acquisition of learning. Sustaining the learner's interest is another thing. Such will bring us to apprehending how this classroom management is led by a good manager who is definitely the teacher. Deep understanding of philosophies and theories of education is prerequisite in teaching. The principles learned from each are vantage point of methodologies and strategies. As a teacher, these help us to think logically, to analyze and solve problems, to assess proposed solution, and to write and speak clearly, attending to details while theories provide basis how our students learn and a way to explain, describe, analyze, and predict learning. Our responsibility should always be associated with our initiative to further develop ourselves as the world as not consistent. It evolves the communion of our values and ideologies is magnanimously parallel to the norms and standards of education. Having been pub a public school teacher for quite a long time, I've seen numerous changes in education. The most striking one is the integration of ICT in teaching learning process. I have been into varied experiences. The most significant one is dealing with my own patience and behavior towards students' differences. Differences are just normal, but as for today, these differences are tangibly incorporated with reasons which I am challenged to deal with. I think most teachers can relate to this, but it's already part of the changing world, and we can't just ignore changes. They are part of growth and development. The only and the best thing that I can do is to have sound mind, strong pedagogical skills to have a big heart for my students, and to always ask the Lord guidance. As written in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9, the heart of man lands his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. Good morning. I'm Flores Espaimola of Might 7 from Fairview Elementary School. How can I be of help in uplifting the quality of education in my own school? To teach, to love education. To love education is to show empathy to the learners. Showing empathy means understanding their individuality while taking into consideration the development of their totality. To be an educator is not an easy job. It entails a lot of patience and a great number of love and devotion. Most of the times, misinterpretation to one's role brings failure in the achievement of education. As an educator, it is important that we should understand the needs of our learners. We should know the role of each stakeholder and how we can connect to each. A multitude of qualities are expected for each teacher to have. She should be an evaluator, planner, designer, manager, evaluator, researcher, decision maker, and administrator. These qualities are needed in the development of the curriculum. The first step is to plan. Curriculum planning is the analysis of philosophy, social forces, needs, goals, objectives, treatment of knowledge, human development, learning process, and instruction, and decision. Next step is the preparation. It involves systematic data, content, selection, collection, assessment, and organization. Third step is the design factors. It is all about knowing the types, levels and structures of school so the process will be parallel to its need. The fourth one is the curriculum development phases. It caters of instructional materials, media development and methods of teaching and testing. After such, we can now proceed to the implementation. Implementation means organizing the subjects to be completed in a year or in a semester. The lessons are planned according to timetable. The use of the selected media is also being considered. It is also the stage where learning resources are provided. It is also the time when learning experiences are promoted and series of progressive testing are made. The right to education is not only the right to access education, but also the right to receive an education of good quality. Education must be available and accessible, but also acceptable and adaptable. 
Education is definitely important in one's life. A gift of knowledge can bring us to the top of our dreams. It leads us to the right path and gives us a chance to have a wonderful life. Thank you, Florence Espemol of Might 7 of Vebri Elementary School. Good day. How can I be of help in uplifting the quality of education in my own school? There are so many ways to be of help to anyone. We have something to share, even it could be the least one. Teaching today requires a multifaceted frameworks and processes. Needless to say that it is a laborious task where passion and dedication committedly join hands in fulfilling its responsibility. According to British Council, assist a group of people in grasping at their common targets and in achieving them without any intervention on his or her behalf. Therefore, when we say that teacher has to play the role of a facilitator in the classroom, this means that the teacher should not be the king who controls the activities of the learners. He or she should grant the learners some space to let the spirits of creativity and innovation. In other words, the learners must get involved into an active participation that would be represented in argumentative discussions and teamwork activities so that the process of learning become comprehensive. Such magnificent role is personally done by each teacher. Teaching is personalized, as there is no single strategy or pedagogy which fits all. As a dedicated teacher, it is my prime duty to be of service to the children. Service entails teaching with heart and giving your best, even when sometimes it turns out the way you don't expect it to be. Patience is a virtue. That's how I interpret my responsibility as a public servant to the future generation. I am Dominica R. Evalie, a teacher of Fairview Elementary School and a student of MAED 7. Thank you very much. To talk about how do I help in uplifting the quality of education in our school, Fairview Elementary School. Every child has the opportunity to receive quality education, and it is the responsibility of the school to give the best quality education in order for the students to be able to have positive experiences as well as success in life. What is quality education? Well, a quality education is one that provides all learners with capabilities they require to become economically productive, develop sustainable livelihoods, contribute to peaceful and democratic societies, and enhance individual well-being. The learning outcomes that are required vary according to context, but at the end of the basic education, cycle must include the threshold levels of literacy and numeracy, basic scientific knowledge and life skills, including awareness and prevention of disease, capacity development to improve the quality of teachers and other education stakeholders is crucial throughout the process. It is very easy to define a quality education and it is the primary goal of every school but it is really hard to possess especially in the public school nowadays wherein there are many factors affecting it. Our pupils belong to poor families in which most of them are malnourished that really affect their performances in school. Pupils also don't have reading materials at home and most of all they don't have complete textbooks, most especially in grade 6. There are still many hindrances in achieving these goals. Despite of all these factors, 
our beloved school through the leadership of our dear principal with the help of all the teachers including the other stakeholders find ways in order to provide quality education among our learners as a matter of fact there are many programs that were made to meet the needs of the learners in order for them to receive a quality education. As a grade 6 teacher, I do help in uplifting a quality education in our school by simply engaging myself in all the programs, activities, and interventions to promote quality education. In my classroom alone, I do all my best to provide the materials needed by my pupils since that they don't have complete textbooks up to this time. I really make a point that I give them the best learnings and develop their whole being that make them good citizens someday. All of them must be happy and have experiences in school in order for them to enjoy their studies. It is really difficult to face the millennial pupils we have today. We can't do anything but to face the reality. This is really a big challenge for us. We need to share our quality time and effort to make every individual quality learners. We have to sacrifice for the better result. Always remember that quality is not an accident. It is the result of intelligent effort. This is Mrs. Helen Titadena. Thank you and God bless. Good morning. I'm Jessamy C. Makagaling from Fairview Elementary School, Maed 7. How can I be of help in uplifting the quality of education in my own school? Nowadays, we live and function in a digital era where students are constantly exposed to the latest trends in technology and media. When teaching these new age students, it becomes more important for us teachers to be more flexible and find new ways to improve our teaching quality. This is not only for us to be more effective in the classroom, but will also help our students to learn and retain the information in a better way. Providing quality education to every child is a right and a necessity. It aims at developing a balanced set of capabilities of learners which they require to become economically productive, develop sustainable livelihoods, contribute to peaceful and democratic societies, and enhance well-being. By supporting quality education, we can give a child limitless possibilities and community future stability. As a teacher, one of the most effective ways to teach the learner is to personalize the learning experience to meet the needs of each individual learner. Personalized teaching combines face-to-face -face to -face teaching with technology-assisted instruction and student collaboration to leverage each student learning style and interest. This aim is to create a stimulating learning experience for all involved. Another way to uplift the quality education is to empower students to be an active learners rather than simply be spectators. I will let them engage in materials, participate in the class, and collaborate with each other as a part of the learning process. And I, myself, therefore look at ways to facilitate independent, in, um, critical, and creative thinking by using active learning techniques, which includes students' collaboration, asking students to analyze the given problem, debates, and discussing new ideas, both during lectures and homework. Fostering independence will also help learners to persevere through challenging sessions that will help them succeed in the future. According to John Legend, the best way to fight poverty is to empower through access to quality education. Thank you! Good day, this is Reina Lindsay Cruz from Fairview Elementary School, Maed 7. How can I be helped in uplifting the quality of education in my own school? The Department of Education leadership is trying to address through the introduction of institutional measures, particularly in managing school operation and raising the performance level of teachers. Deteriorating quality, poor and lacking facilities, insufficient textbooks, large class size, inadequately 
trained teachers and even insufficient school management are the factors that may be true to a lot of public schools. How can I be of help in uplifting the quality of education in my own school? Nowadays, we live and function in a digital era where students are constantly exposed to the latest trends in technology and media. When teaching these new age students, it becomes more important for us teachers to be flexible and find ways to improve our teaching quality. This is not only helps the students to be more effective in the classroom, but will help them learn and retain the information in a better way. To personalize the learning experience is the most effective ways to meet the needs of each individual learner. Personalized teaching combines face-to-face -face teaching with technology-assisted instruction and student collaboration to leverage its students' learning style and interest. Keeping the parents of my students updated and involved in the performance of their children is also best. Teachers should also guide the students to be an active learners. We should look at ways to facilitate independent critical thinking, and creative thinking by using active learning techniques to help foster an era of new learning essential to tackle complex global challenges. As a teacher, I must improve my teaching practice like making a little play on words to emphasize the central point that practice implies continuously working to get better. Improving those skills. How can I be of help in uplifting the quality of education in my own school? Teachers' role in education is crucial, as they are also leaders respectively in their classroom. Hence, the teacher's value and philosophy matrix describes the common goals of all teachers. It can be different for specific teachers, but overall goal of learning stays the same. A teacher who possesses the right attitude in teaching and proper behavior in our accountabilities, duties, and responsibilities is up to quality performance. According to Dr. Mary Jane Kirsten in 2018, it has been known for decades that teachers can have a profound effect on the students they teach. Education policies can make a significant difference in a teacher's work, which in turn affects their students. When expert teachers are actively engaged in the development of education policy and initiatives, achieving the intended outcomes and avoiding unintended consequences is more likely. As teachers, our voice matters in all aspects of teaching learning process, from the curriculum down to its implementation. We have stand to be heard. Being a public school teacher for decades, my experiences have taught me a lot of values in life learning. Among these, I believe and I prefer to nourish for myself because change should always start from within. As aforementioned, my personal values in life is a great, is a great contribution towards fulfilling my duties and responsibilities as a public servant. Having the proper mindset and behavior can help move directly to the goal I set in my everyday teaching life. This, I believe, is the most important I can share to ensure quality education in our school. Learning from our best teacher who is the Lord, I can say that His love and teachings to His words are enough to inspire and uplift my spirit to give my best in my chosen profession. In Titus chapter 2, verses 7 to 8, states that, Show yourself in all respects to be a model of good works, and in your teaching show integrity, dignity, and sound speech that cannot be condemned, so that an opponent may be put to shame, having nothing evil to say about us. And last, as a values teacher, I believe in what Aristotle said, educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. My name is Army B. Ballesteros from Fairview Elementary School, MAED 7. How can I be of help as in uplifting the quality of education in my own school? Since 1949, education specialists have been studying about the development of curriculum standards. 
The need of a model is truly vital in this development. As it is discussed in the previous studies, curriculum is the heart and soul of education. It is where the process will be derived to attain a valid and effective outcome. The study conducted showed how crucial is the model for the development of curriculum standards for preschool teacher education. Its contributory factor aims to set a standard through which education could be readily available to all. The two focal points of this study is first to create a model which reflects the educational culture and environment of teacher education in the Philippines. And second, is to address the need to develop curriculum standards for preschool teacher education. Findings shows that children who attend high-quality preschool enter schools with better pre-reading skills, richer vocabularies, and stronger basic math skills than those who do not. So why not insist on preschool education when it can only help? When preschool is good for your child, know this. The three to six year olds are like a little sponge at that age. They can take in so much, even more than you think. You, as a parent, should make use of this time to equip your little ones with the skills they need in their lives. Homeschooling children at this age might give them a good academic head start only if you are educated in early childhood education to do so but this type of schooling will fail to develop their social and emotional skills that are of an utmost importance for their future personally preschool teacher is my innermost desire is to motivate these little children to go to school daily prepared physically and emotionally, physically and emotionally only because it is my duty to help them prepare mentally and socially. The mortality of absences among these children is seen as the prime reason of poor academic performance. Poverty is one reason that equates this poor performance. The single simple and attainable things that I can share to support quality learning initially comes from my very own motivation to teach. This is the driving force that pushed me to give my best and ignore negative things that may hinder my passion in teaching. I always believe that education is the answer to poverty. Thank you. I'm Loris A. Kwasai of my one from Fairview Elementary School. How can I be of help in uplifting the quality of education in my own school? Teacher, as the significant facilitator of education, has the basic responsibility in the development of curriculum. And so learning will be achieved, and this would mean having an effective education among our learners. It is a must that each educator has to upgrade himself. Quality circles among educators help to enhance learning methodology. Education is dynamic. It keeps on changing. This fast-changing pace should be equalized by parallel enhancement of teacher skills. The teacher's love for education will make things not only possible but easier to accomplish since anything done with love comes as a gift. This gift is a talent given by God. As a recipient of talent, I should have the utmost duty to share it to others. Others means my pupils. Giving my best shot in teaching is an advocacy. Others may also refer to my colleagues who are also source of my additional skills. Collaborating with them means experiencing a whole range of makeover and changes. Outsourcing power from each other is prerequisite as human beings. I believe we are interconnected with one another. Self-efficacy and self-regulation are also things considered as I am dealing not only with just children but our future generation. I am deeply accountable for the holistic development of the next generation. As a Department of Education calls for innovation, 
as the recent program for international student assessment result awakens the whole academe to modify the instruction and make a strategic intervention. As a dedicated public servant, I have to find ways to meet these challenges. This is not the overall scene of Philippine education. I believe there are more good features of our educational system. Sometimes, the implementation of such becomes because of differentiated as to how teachers perceive it to be. Perhaps, a constant training, seminar, and professional advancement, like being enrolled in PIC, will pave the way to empowered strategic instruction, which may reap positive results. Good morning. How can I help in uplifting the quality education at my own school, Fairview Elementary School? We all know that quality education is the one that focuses on the whole child, the social, the emotional, the mental, the physical, and cognitive development of each student, regardless of their gender, race, ethnicity, socioeconomic status, or geographical location. It prepares the child for life, not just for testing. Quality education also, access to education, but just as important is actually learning basic knowledge and skills in the classrooms. Many children across the world cannot read, despite of having attended school for several days. High education or high quality education is a prerequisite for learning and human development. It also aims at developing balanced sets of capabilities of children as they require to become economically productive, develop sustainable livelihoods, contribute to peaceful and democratic societies, and enhance individual well-being. Quality education also enables people to develop all of their attributes and skills to achieve their potential as human beings and members of the society. Education is at the heart of both personal and community development. It is, uh, its mission is to enable each of us without including or including responsibilities for our own lives and achievement aims. Quality education is a human right and a public good. Government and other public authorities should ensure that a quality education service is available freely to all citizens from early childhood into their adulthood. How can I uplift the quality education in my own respective school as what I've said? By improving my teacher quality as a teacher. I know uh, or all we all know that teachers naturally improve students or pupils' outcomes. Improve output or improve input equals improve output. There is an essential component of school success. Continuous growth and, imp and improvement are necessary. As a teacher, it plays a vital role in the lives of the students in the classroom. Teachers are the best known for the role educating students that are placed in their care. Beyond that, teachers serve many other groups. Teachers set the tune of the school, participating the CIP or the Continuous Improvement Project, build a warm environment, mentor and nurture students, and most of all, become rule model of the society. Thank you. Hi, this is Crystal Gonzalez, a teacher from Fairview Elementary School, and this is how I can uplift the quality education in my own school. Just as all teachers want their students to keep improving over time, school administrators are driven to continue build upon their systems, giving educators and students the greatest resources possible. By connecting with others, you can create a strong group to work on improving the quality education of your school, making physical improvements, increasing educational opportunities, and leading bathroom and complaints are all methods for turning your school into a place that everyone can be proud of. 
boost activities and clubs. If enthusiasm, persons of community seems to be lacking at your school, then you may want to increase extracurricular opportunities. There can be something for everyone to get involved in. The sky's the limit. Campaign to increase participation in activities that your school currently offers. Or start a new club if there is interest. Some of many possibilities include sports, art club, drama club, garden club, technology club, or volleyball club. Let everyone join in. Make sure that all students have a chance to participate in activities and games. No matter what your skill level or ability, letting all students have a chance even if they aren't great at the game will make things more fun and friendly. Talk to administrators. If you think that your school needs improvement, you can start by talking to its administrators, a principal or headmaster for example. You might also attend local school board meetings to voice your opinion. Getting administrative support is important not only because many projects will need official approval, but also because it is a way of communicating your concerns. They are also an important cornerstone of any community. Families also care about schools and will want to be involved with any improvements that need to be made. Use social media to gather support. Well, some people may not think that social media help educational value social networks can be a powerful tool for organizing people. Make sure that school is active on all major social media services. Ensure that improvements continue. Efforts to improve your school will only have their full impact if they can continue in the future. Creating a sense of school history or institutional memory is important for, for a long-term success. This is Miss Crystal Gonzalez and A7. Elementary school is my third school destination and I stayed here as a mentor. I've also been designated to various positions such as the teachers clubs as vice president and treasurer, also a subject coordinator and even as president of the district level. Yet these positions are just adjunctive to my real achievement in life in the world of education. For me, the most important is my way of dealing with my colleagues and clientele, most especially with my pupils. It's my pleasure bringing them together into fruitful relationship within the school ground and faculties. It is also my honor to build leadership and promote excellence in various competition administering more pride to our school. Just this year, we were champion in the district level in AP, Araling Panlipunan. And what made such victories possible is true hard work and irrevocable and investigative mentoring, or mentorship rather. I mainly choose to be educator to uplift the education system. I saw the past decade how lucky we are in terms of innovation in the learning processes through unique and out-of-the-box methods. I've been always been endowed with much happier and more educated people in time I pass on a lesson. May it be science or history. I am proud to say I am definitely satisfied and more eager to work hard because adding more professional to our country inspires me so much to give my best and bring out the most of me in the field I am destined for. This is Mary Claire Ulisa, A2 Gold, Mind 7 of Fairview Elementary School. Thanks and God bless. <music>